everyone welcome to my channel my name is Kadisha and this is my first video so I'll just be introducing myself to you guys and explaining or giving you an idea of what I intend the channel to be about and I'm also going to list to you about five disappointments that I had throughout this pregnancy I'm 25 years old and I am currently pregnant with my first child She's a little girl. I'll share that de those details with you guys a little later on. I'm currently in school full-time. I also work full-time. Add full-time mom to that because that's about to happen in a week. Jamie, I'm 39 weeks. And just a little bit about why I'm making this channel. So throughout the pregnancy and while I was on maternity leave, I've watched a lot of pregnancy videos and a lot of them I couldn't really relate to because of my background and because of my culture because of what I'm used to so I decided that I would share with you guys um, my experience through the lens of a Jamaican or a Caribbean person hopefully a lot of you guys out there will be able to relate to me or to my videos as well and if you can't relate hopefully you'll be able to learn something new from them I decided to do this particular video with this content just because there are so many things that coming into this pregnancy I thought would have happened or wouldn't have happened and they ended up not happening for me so I'm um, just gonna share with you a few of those and how I feel about them but overall I'm hoping to do some mommy and me videos a lot of it will be based around my culture I also would like to do some cooking videos here and there. I would say beauty videos or beauty tips, but this, how I'm looking now, is just so that I can make a first, a good first impression on you guys. I will not be like this every day. Enjoy while it lasts. And also a few vlogs about some of the journeys that we will be taking or when we travel back home. So I'm really hoping that you guys stick around and I'm hoping that we can, if you guys can also comment, um, share things about yourselves as well. So I'm gonna now take you into the five disappointments that I've faced. So disappointment number one. For my entire life, I have weighed um, under 120 pounds. Actually, I did reach 125 one time, but that only stayed that way for like a week or two. So you can imagine, I hear a lot of, ah, you're so skinny, ah, gain some weight, ah, have you tried this, ah, have you tried that? Yes, I tried things, and one thing I was looking forward to was being pregnant so that I could gain some weight because everybody says that, you know, pregnancy makes you gain weight. Oh, wait till you're pregnant, you know, that's what my family they always say wait till you're pregnant I waited and I got pregnant and I barely gained any weight I still look basically the same just with a watermelon attached to my stomach so that didn't happen um, but a lot of it um, is based on genes my mom is naturally slim and I've also been naturally slim so I should have known better than to think it was a guarantee for me to gain weight so if there's anyone out there that you've been skinny all your life please do not expect that you're just going to blow up like a fish in pregnancy because it might not happen it also has to do with what you eat I didn't really have a huge appetite or cravings or all that throughout the pregnancy so I guess that contributed to me not gaining as much weight as well number two no increase in boob size so again people always tell you that you go up a size or two or even a half size during pregnancy that was not the case for me I did not go up a half size or a one size or two sizes I remained the same but we'll see what happens later on but for now at 39 weeks a week to my delivery I am still the same size, bra size and at first I was a little bit disappointed but without the weight gain what do I really need to what do I really need bigger boobs for 
so just letting you guys know it doesn't always happen for everyone it didn't happen for me and it might not happen to you either the third disappointment I had is that I didn't get to have a baby bump until about four or five months into the pregnancy so you know that stomach rubbing and the taking cute pictures and all that I didn't get to do that until four or five months um, into the pregnancy which was a little disappointing for me because I really wanted to start taking pictures and you know feeling pregnant so I was a bit sad when I didn't see the bump coming it, especially if you're a first-time mom do not expect that you're going to just grow up overnight and that belly is just going to appear there again a lot of it has to do with genes a lot of it has to do with pre-existing conditions so if you were you had a flat stomach before it might take a longer time for that baby bump to start showing disappointment number four is that um, my baby didn't start moving until about 25 or 26 weeks and a lot of people on a lot of the apps that you download, like um, Baby Center, Bump, those apps that give you the weekly expectations or a weekly mark of where your child, as well as yourself, should be, they were saying that the baby should have been moving by then, but she wasn't. And I was disappointed, as well as worried. I think worried for the most part. Until I went to my doctor, the baby was fine. She just let me know that baby develop different develops differently so there was really nothing to worry about but when she did start moving that was a really special moment for me and my husband and we were overjoyed um, especially since we were waiting so long for her to move so just wait for it when it happens as long as your baby's okay that's all that matters all right so disappointment number five which I think was the biggest disappointment of it all is that my hair did not grow as I thought it would have. Again, one of the things that the app tells you is that you go through tremendous hair growth. It didn't happen. It just did not happen for me. And I was looking forward to it, but it just didn't work out. So those were the five biggest disappointments for me and i feel like they were disappointments because they were expected in the first place because of what people usually say as well as because of the apps that i was using um those expectations just weren't materializing so i just want to let you guys know especially if you're a first time mom everyone is different we are all made differently so what I experience might not be what you experience. The changes that my body undergo might not be the changes that your body undergo. As long as you are healthy, the baby's healthy, that's really all that should matter. So the biggest takeaway is to embrace whatever change your body gives to you. You'll have to embrace the baby that your body gives to you. So might as well embrace the process, embrace the change as well. Just enjoy the journey. As long as you're healthy, baby's healthy, that's all that matters. So I'm really hoping that you guys will stick around for the future videos for the journey that we'll be taking you on. Thank you so much for watching. We are all beautifully and wonderfully made and we'll see you next time. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Kadesia and I no. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Kadesia and this is my first video. Mm, no. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Kadesia and this is my first video. Yay me. No! But in the... No, that not good. <laughs>